what's up guys it's zed and this is episode 11 of the fifa 22 create a club career mode raising zilla fc as usual and we are eighth on the table we have the match against leeds next i'll be simming that and we'll be going we'll be playing the chelsea match and then we'll be playing the everton match because everton is also ahead of us on the table they're actually fourth so we're going to be playing that match as well if they still remain like in the top four by the time we reach that match and after that match we'll play the manchester city match in january so we're actually moving through the season pretty fast and for the player stats we have rivera and zaid both and both at eight and seven goals respectively now before we we go into anything in this video i want you guys to actually tell me who you actually prefer between rivera and zaid you can just put that in the comment section and you know, it'd be fun to just know who you guys actually like between the two of them. Or or let's just, like, say the whole team. Who's your favorite player in the whole team? Anyway, we will be simming this match with our first team because, well, I mean, you guys already know that we can't use our second team because they're shit. Plus the fact that it's Leeds and we are away from home. We still lose the match. <laughs> uh, Graven Birch and our house score. I'm going to do a quick sim all the way to... The Chelsea match and we'll see if we are going to be able to pull something off against Burnley at home and we actually draw that's a, this is actually a really really tough run of form that we're having here so we've played all the teams in the big six except Chelsea so this is the last match against the big six for the let's make it interesting if we win the match we might still be ninth position if we do not get over a four goal difference in this match we're about to play and it's really hard because it's chelsea and chelsea is a really really annoying annoyingly good team right now plus the fact that they have lukaku and you know the likes we are not making any changes to the starting 11 is the same one you guys know and love so i'll talk to you guys after this match is over if you guys like this series make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll talk to you guys after the match well the atmosphere has been building up all day long and we're almost ready for kickoff here at stamford bridge i'm derek ray at the microphone and joining me for match commentary is stuart robson and it's all about action from the premier league in this case it is Chelsea against the Blades. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. Well, we used to think of Timo Werner as the classic counter-attacking forward, but he's a lot more versatile now. Stuart, what do you expect to see from him? Well, how can you stop him? If you get too tight, he'll use the space behind you, drop off, and he'll turn and run at you. Add that to his movement in the box, and you can see why he scored so many goals. Mount. Werner. Timo Werner. Oh, terrific piece of goalkeeping. And deciding to go short with this one. No frustration for those waiting in the middle. Now with Rivera. Eduardo Camavinga. Devoe. Could be! And a goal! 1-0 it is! They've been pushing for the opener, and now they have it! Well, let's take another look. And wow, how cleanly does he hit that? The keeper was never going to save it. What a good goal that is. Well, that pass easy on the eye. He can't hold on to it. And thumped away. Failed to get it away properly. Danger averted for now. Well, there it is. The away side haven't had as much of the ball. But what they've done with it has been really good. And they'll be happy with the way the game is being played at the moment. They... It's there for him. And he's certainly in the mood for his second. Well, he's certainly looking a threat. He looks so shocked. Well, thumped clear. Could be a chance to break here. 
And he's in. The net is staring him in the face. Oh, incredible save. Eduardo Camavinga. Might be able to get in behind the defence. And players waiting at the far post. And pushed onto the woodwork. Well, nothing comes of it. And Golo Conte. Thomas Lemar. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Ten minutes to go then. Zaid. Firing it towards goal. As indicated, there will be a minimum of one minute. Oh, this is looking time. promising. No nonsense clearance. Well, there goes the final whistle, and it's all gone. All right, we're able to hold on to that 1 0 lead for the entire match. So it was actually a good thing that we got the first goal early on, thanks to Rivera, to be honest. And Mendy got the man of the match, which is actually correct because he actually saved a lot. He actually like saved them from actually like dropping down to that ninth, ninth place. So I guess we had a bad start at the beginning of the video, and we have actually like made do with this match with our first win of this episode i also forgot that verna is actually a beast in fifa to be honest like he's actually really really good compared to like how he is in real life right now i also just realized that my very first match against one of the big six teams was against chelsea last season and they beat us three nil so that was like revenge for us to be honest as for this match we're going to be simming it again some guys are quite tired. So I don't know if I should be using my um, second team or if I should use my first team. I might just use my first team and do like a, a, a couple substitutions to um, keep some guys, you know, sharp. I guess that's all the subs I'm going to do because the others don't really need to be subbed up. So I'm just going to quick sim. Hopefully we win this match. Come on, guys. <sighs> For fuck's sake, we drew it. We drew it. Greenwood got a red card as well. Shocking. All right, I went out to Germany to look for um, youth players. And to be honest, none of this, these guys that I see here are actually good enough for me. Because actually, like me picking youth players, if you guys have seen from the Chelsea career mode I did in FIFA 21, I actually am very, very strict. Because like they have to, their potential has to be within... 70 to 90 something before i can pick the player and if if not then i mean fuck off so everton is still in the top four so i'm going to be saving to this match and i'm going to play it jesus freaking christ we, we lost against west ham we actually like there's something up with the team because we're actually doing really really good in the previous matches before this episode and you know Everything is just going downhill this episode. Like, look, it's just one match that we won. That's the one against Chelsea. So let's just hope that we can play. Sorry, we can win against Everton in this match. So at least get us closer to the top of the table. Everton is second and they're eight points ahead of us. If I'm correct. Yeah, they're eight points ahead of us. So if I win them, we're going to drop that figure down to five points. And that would mean we'll be on 26. So we might actually jump all the way to fourth place. Wait, what am I saying? Oh, I'm I'm so wrong. <laughs> we might actually jump all the way to uh, set sixth, seventh. Yeah. If Chelsea and Arsenal lose their matches, Chelsea is facing Leicester, and I'm I'm just going to hope that Leicester can really hold them, and then Arsenal is facing Crystal Palace, and you know, you can never know with Arsenal to be honest. Alright, Odo Warrior has gone down to an 81, which is actually a shout, a shout out for help, because I I really don't want him to be, like, decreasing that fast, because it might just be the problem with the same matches, to be honest. I, again, I don't know, but our midfield is 82 all round, and Greenwood is the only person that is new in this team, is replacing Suho. He doesn't really play on the left, but I mean... Like I said, he can't replace Zaid or Rivera right now. So Suho is the only person he can replace because they're actually the same rating, I think. I'm, 
I can't remember who was rating, to be honest. So, I'll talk to you guys after this match. Let's hope that we are able to grab this win. It's Everton. It's not as hard as the other top six teams. The cameras are fixed to one man in imperious form and the leading marksman in the league. Can he add to his total today on EA TV? Hello and welcome to a stadium that has a wonderfully old-fashioned feel to it, Goodison Park. I'm Derek Ray and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It is Everton against the Blades. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? A game that on paper has a lot going for it. Everton get the proceedings underway. OK, quickly over to Alex Scott. A goal at Villa Park, Alex. It's a goal for Leeds. They've scored the opener here with only two minutes played. Good stop from the keeper. And unable to keep the ball. He has time to play it over. And a goal! An early boost for them. The first goal of the game. They're off and running. Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against, but how is he allowed that much time and space? He doesn't even have to jump to head it in. It's a good finish. But take under duress there. Pull from the keeper, and they'll come again. Obstructing the main entrance. Please remove the car as soon as possible. Thank you. Could be, and pushed onto the woodwork. And the keeper hangs on at the second attempt. Well, he's done really well, hasn't he? Great stop, and then the reaction. It's in. They're looking really relaxed and confident, and not giving the opposition much of a look in. Well, this is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure, but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. Better than that. DeVoe. Succeeded in keeping it in play. Rivera and slipped through beautifully and he's in and turned onto the woodwork has someone to play it to and the keeper put to the test but he can't they do pass the ball with authority able to get a body in the way can he make it count and there it is an almost intuitive piece of finishing Well, let's take another look at this, and from the attacking point of view, everything's right. The shot across the goalkeeper, players coming in for the rebound, and there's not much the goalkeeper can do. promising out wide. That's not a bad ball. Well, the clearance, half-hearted. And problem solved for now. Greenwood, and a good-looking ball. Is it going to be? Oh, a superb save. The high press was very much on. And looking towards the back post. Superb save. Well, he should score, of course, but that's... A... Well, we have a plethora of live matches coming up for you here on EA TV. This one, I think, might pique your curiosity. And in! Exactly what they were hoping to produce. They've delivered the goal. Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect. And then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power. The keeper has to no time for defence. Strong but fair tackle. 
And inside the final minute now. Beautifully disguised ball. And he's in. And a goal! If there were any remaining doubts, that will settle the issue. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. But really, the goalkeeper should never be exposed that easily. Great team goal. Well, there goes the final whistle. And it's all gone to plan for the visiting... Party. All right, so that was another good match that we have played against Everton. Next up is Manchester City. And Bakari got his first goal for, his, for this club ever. And that was really cool. In case you guys don't know who Bakari is, the right back with the orange dreads so before the manchester city match we are on 26 points and that is six points be behind manchester city and they are playing who next they are playing brighton sub brighton they are playing arsenal away from home so hopefully arsenal can pull arsenal is in ninth position so hopefully they can pull one up and actually defeat manchester city and get us closer to them Liverpool is gone. I don't think anybody can cast Liverpool to be honest. And the form at which my team is 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 the form at which my team is in for the same matches. I, I really doubt that we can actually catch Liverpool. So our aim for this match is that fifth position because we can definitely catch Leicester. We're just two points behind them on goal difference. Or or that two goals behind them on goal difference. And I mean let's just see what we can do from now. Till we get to the Manchester City match. We're going to sim all the way from here. What are we going to do against Sheffield? Obviously, we, we beat them 2-1. Then Aston Villa, please, come on. We lost against Aston Villa. Okay, Wolves are home. I mean, we should... We drew it. Then Newcastle, we won. So that is two wins, a loss, and a draw. I am not happy with that, to be honest. And that has actually gotten us to seventh position. So... Manchester City is actually a lot um they're like nine points ahead of us now and that's a whole three points ahead of us Liverpool is like I said before they are gone so right now the only teams we can catch is the only team we can catch is Wolves can't believe Wolves is actually ahead of us to be honest Manchester United is just having the worst season right now they're in 14th Arsenal is in 11th Leicester City was in the top four for a while but now they're in ninth position we're currently fight, fighting with for the sixth, um, for six, seven, and eight with Aston Villa and Everton. But we, if we win this match, we can definitely go up against Wolves. And the interesting thing is that Everton is actually playing Wolves. So if Everton win that match, then we're definitely going to catch up to Wolves. And if Wolves win, then we're going to go up to sixth position. So either way, we just have to win our match. And we will be. <laughs> I just realized the Manchester City are playing. I'm not going to try to win the match so we can go up to sixth position because either way we're moving up. Unless, I mean, they draw. If they draw, we're still going to move up. So we just have to win our match, really. The youth players are here again, and this guy is actually really close. But his overall is really low, so I'm not even going to bother myself. Alright, so this is the first guy that actually looks like he's good but his overall is like on the low side but i'm still going to sign him this this guy as well is also pretty good so you as well adam nash nope wow you're a right back okay sam coates and then oliver oliver alexander you actually he actually looks really good maybe it's just the eyes though but you know you're not good enough to join my team, sorry. And you look like he's 30 years old, to be honest. Alright, it's time for the last match of the episode against Manchester City. So if you guys have liked this video so far, make sure to hit the like button. And also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also drop comments, to be honest. Like, I, I actually want to know what you guys feel about the series. And, you know, if you like it, if you don't like it, you know, what I could do to make you guys want to watch it more. Stuff like that, really. The cameras are fixed to one man in fantastic form and the top scorer in the league. Can he add to his tally today, live on EA TV? Well, most of the fans in attendance here have had to bring their umbrellas and wear their raincoats. It's a soggy day for this match. 
I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical analysis is Stuart Robson. And what better way to ring in the new year than with live football? It's the Blades facing Manchester City. Well, first of all, Derek, Happy New Year to you. I just hope the players went to bed at a reasonable time, as we'd love to see a really good game here to start the new year off with a bang. And they kick off here. And it's Gabriel Jesus. Now Mares. Rodri. Gabriel Jesus. And turned onto the woodwork. And the keeper put to the test. Joao Cancelo. Can't argue with that little move. Rodri. Oh, and the decision is penalty. A big chance for them to take the lead here. Well, no card handed out. He gets away with a rebuke. Well, a lot of referees would have booked him there. But I'm with him on this one. No yellow card for me. Can he make it 1-0? In it goes! A well-taken penalty! Well, here's the replay, and it's almost the perfect penalty. Keepers guessed the right way, but it's tucked so far into that corner, it's almost impossible for him to save. That's how you take a spot kick. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. And a tidy challenge. Certainly options available as far as the Blades are concerned. And a squandered opportunity there. The ball with Rodri. Opportunity it is. Oh, he's missed, but by a minuscule margin. Well, he could. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Mendy and space for the cross Bernardo Silva well that's a well-timed pass and there it is a two-goal cushion now and they just need to keep the concentration well it's a goal you'd expect him to score but he kept his cool and he put it away nicely he'll be happy with that City have controlled the ball and that's been because of their ability to win the ball back so quickly their pressing has been excellent and they just haven't stopped oh they could put it away Stuart the crossbar got in the way and Manchester City will go to their bench number 26 Riyad Mahrez coming onto the pitch number 10 Jack Grealish now with Rivera And just look at this. It's such good technique. It's a wonderful strike from that range. Pedro Porro. De Bruyne. And that pass could be troublesome. But he knew he had to get to the ball. And he did. Really should have made more of that. All right, so we're able to get the win against Manchester City, so <laughs> we're not climbing the table at all. This this season is, isn't really our season, to be honest. So we just have to hang on in the middle of the table. That's actually my goal now because I mean it was a really <laughs> it was a really really wild dream to win, but I mean I was expecting to win the match to be honest because we drew them in Etihad. Wasn't expecting them to actually come and beat us in the Godzilla Arena, but oh well. Once again, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.